Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I made the interaction donut controller that is responsive to the slider bar below. Let's get started. I've already imported the design from Figma and replaced some parts with protopy components. I will use these items for the interaction. I use these text layers for the minute and calorie text to make it responsive. And I use these two slider components here. And you can see this handle that is grouped with transparent rectangle background so that we can rotate it. And the minute background layer is just here to be above the ring for the shadow effect. Now, if I turn off the handle, you can see that there is this circle, ring border circle, that I used to make a radius for the starting point of the ring. You'll understand it later. Here comes the important part. This is the half ring masked by the half rectangle. When I uncheck the use as mask from the ring mask right layer, you can see that the ring half right layer is invincible from the left side in 180 degrees. The ring will be visible when it's in the mask area. This is the basic principle of how I'm going to animate this today. The ring left has the same logic and the content layer is rest of the components. Let's start adding the interaction. You can ignore this one because when I already applied the specific for this design for handle shadow, now this is not relevant for us. So to make this handle rotate, I will add the drag trigger for handle and add rotate response also for the handle so that the handle rotates when we drag this handle. Now let's make the handle responsive to the ring. I'm adding the chain trigger for handle rotation. Then I'm adding the rotate response for right mask and chain the rotation of handle from 0 to 180 rotation. Next, I'm chaining this to the rotate of ring mask from 0 to 180 degrees, which will rotate to left direction with this left button. To explain more about the structure, this full ring is a full donut circle and this was masked with the right mask. So you can see only the half of the circle. Then this half ring is masked again with ring mask right on the right side. So when the handle rotates from 0 to 180, the ring mask will rotate from 0 to 180 degree and reveal this half left ring with the handle. The same logic applies to the left side. So I'll duplicate this rotate response and assign it to left mask and change the range for rotation of handle from 180 to 360 degree. This means when the handle passes the 180 to 360 degree, which is rest of the half, the ring mask will rotate from 0 to 180 degrees. Make sure both layers and handle lay anchor are on the center. You can see that the ring is rotating with the handle. Now we will use the variable. You can consider the variable as the bucket that you can hold a value such as number, text, or color. And pass this value flexibly for responses. Let's check out with examples. I will create the variable minute for number and for calories as well. Then I will add a sign response under the chain for the minute changing the rotation of handle from 0 to 360 rotation to value of minute from 0 to 30 value. This means the minute will change between 0 to 30 linked with the handle. 
I will copy and paste this assign response for calories and change the value of calories from 0 to 100. You can turn on this box mark and see that the value is stored in the variables. Now, we want to display this value on the text. To do that, I will add a new detect trigger for a minute and add the text response for the minute layer. Then I assign the formula minute. To round the number, I will add the math function round. You can check out more functions on the Protopy website. I will duplicate this detect trigger and assign it to calories also with the variable calories wrapping with the function round. This means the minute and calorie text will print the variable value when the handle rotates. You can see that in the preview, the minute moves between 0 to 30 and the calories between from 0 to 100 with the handle. Lastly, let's animate the bar to scale with the handle. Under the chain, I'm adding the scale response with the bar mask chaining the rotation of handle from 0 to 360 to the size of bar mask from 32 to 309, which is the current size of the bar and the full width of the bar. Then I'm adding the move trigger for slider handle chaining move from current position to the end, which is 33 to 310 x position that is chained with the handle. Finally, when I rotate the handle, the ring is responsive, as well as the text and the bar here. That's it for today. If you like this tutorial, press like, subscribe, and the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos. See you soon.